Hello and welcome. In this video, you are going to learn about Alpine JS. It is a new JavaScript library and it is like growing so fast. It is so nice. When I am using Tailwind in my project, of course, I have to use Alpine. So throughout the course of building Shopify app, I'm going to use Alpine JS. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the basic how it is going to work and how nice it is to work with this. So far, we have built our like app as much as you can see here. It is just the dashboard. The thing is, when you install an app, you always want to modify the active theme in the store. So how would you do that one? I'm going to do that in a future video, but for now, I'm going to show a model here to tell people, hey, you have installed the app, the next step is to configure it with your theme. Once people said like configure, you can just run some script. I will do that like behind, like in the background with PHP, I will show you and it should modify the active theme in the store it should add some script or maybe change something i'm going to show you how you can update the active theme so that is for learning stuff now before i start using like alpine js how it, you can use it let's check the sponsor of the video this video is sponsored to you by cloudway they are a great cloud hosting platform and it makes your application deployment a lot easy. If you don't like system administration work and you want one click solution to deploying your next PHP application, then Cloudway is going to be the best choice. It is so easy, like just sim simply select your application, either that is WordPress, Drupal or Laravel, then you select your server, DigitalOcean, they support a lot of servers like Amazon, Google, and then you will select the size and you can deploy it. Later you can monitor it, you can scale it easily just one click. So that's it. Now let's go back to our Laravel app. Let's start by adding a component from Tailwind UI. This is a nice like model pop-up by Tailwind UI. I can use this one to show above my, let's say, app here, above here. And if someone click configure, it should configure the theme with like the app. So let's copy the code from here. You just copy it and I'll come to my app. You know that our app structure is currently very clean and minimal. So what we can do is we can add that at the top here. But instead of adding all this code here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a partial here. And in this partial, I'm going to say activate model.blade.php. That way our code will be a lot clean. So I'll paste it here and I can remove some of the code here. I am not going to use any transition for now, but in the future videos, I will show you how you can use transition using Tailwind as well as um, Al Alpine JS. So for now, I will save it. Then we can include it right after here. Like you can use the include, and now you can just say the folder name partials dot activate model. That's it. You save it and if I come to my app here, let's come to the product and back to the dashboard. As you can see, it refreshed the page because it is in iframe. So it shows me the activate model here. Now if you click cancel, it should close it. If you click activate, it should activate it for me. The thing is, currently it is not doing anything. But if you check the Tailwind, it is doing something here. Because it used JavaScript, it is using the same alpha and JS, but it is using it behind the scene. That's why you do not see it. It was already in the code, but people said, do not add it in the code. Like I remember they have removed it from the code uh, from the JavaScript. Now let's see how you can use Alpha and JS. They say it, Alpha and, like, it is like the same view and react, but it is very like, like small. As you can see, it is like seven kilobytes and it is very fast also. I'm going to show you like how easy it is to use. You don't have to initialize it. You don't have to select something. It works the same as Tailwind UI that like Tailwind CSS. All you have to do is add this CDN. I'm not going to use uh, NPM, so it is a lot easier to use CDN because we need internet for our app, so CDN will be faster. Now from here, I am going to open my default template and I will add it right above here. When you add it, I know you have to add the script at the footer, but when you are using differ, it, do, it is doing the same thing as if your script is running at the bottom. So that is from JavaScript. You save it and now like Alpine JS is in your app and you can use it. Now let's see how you can use this one. If I, ch if I check one of the example they have here, they always use, use something X like hyphen data X like if X show or something. 
it is the same like in Laravel also you can use X if you have noticed this one in my blurb we use X status it's used for, for custom component we talked about in the previous videos which we created our components X data is like an attribute check out how easy it is you can define data in the parent like tag which is like this is the tag and now that data will be accessible inside this one currently this data is only accessible inside this one if you like output the open here it is going to show you false so whatever data you define here it will be accessible here you can modify it you can change it you can do whatever you want now let's check out how we can use it in the model window we have here oops okay close this one this is the model window now let's define the same x data and now it is going to be of course an object so it can be multiple object for now i will say open it is going to be equal to true by default it should be true because the model should be open right now let's check how we can make it uh, like false or anything else if i come to the cancel i'm going to say if someone click on the cancel change the value of this one to false but if it become false i should hide this one now let's check out the documentation of the alpine here are the custom directives you have data in it show show is the one we can use it can toggle the display none or show if you click the example it is going to show tell you like how you can use it so what if i say x show here it is going to be equal to open it means if open is equal to true show this one otherwise do not show it right so currently if i come to my app here refresh the page since we do not have any other way of refreshing you click on this nothing wor nothing just happened but if you come to open and make it false now i will save it let's check out now i will save now and refresh the page it should hide it it means if it is by default true we can change it when someone click on the console and click is really easy like Vue.js you just say add click means if someone click on this one now you can update a property or anything that you have here you can say open equal to false something like this now they have the same examples in the documentation if you check out like the click event now the it comes all up after the, like the events we will talk about events more but for now if you check the data example that they have here they have click open equal to true you can make it false you can assign any data you want if i save it for now coming to my app going to the product and back to the dashboard it shows here if i click on the cancel it hides it going to product back yes it is showing just fine how easy it is not touching any javascript like you don't have to go to your javascript file and do something you can do everything here that's a lot easy now all you have to do is you have to add more feature let's say if someone click on the activate you want to activate your account currently it says activate your account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this text to configure with your team so that is what we are going to do and instead of activate it should be configure you know when you configure something the button should not be red i think okay if i select all the reds here these are the tailwind red classes i'm going to select everything and change it to green so now the button should look green here refresh the page yes configure when someone click on the configure i wanna call a function the thing is how you can change the active theme that is what happens behind the scene i will talk in the future video for now you might send an ajax request to the server to do that for you so how you how would you do that using like alpine js you can do that using like uh, the same like click if someone click on this one you can call a function it is so simple just write a function here let's say setup theme and you can define this function in your javascript you can directly call anonymous function here also but we will talk about that in the future video but for now i will define this one in my dashboard you know we have a, a script here and it is a section so we can write our script here if i write a function setup theme for now it is going to let's say alert something theme configured 
something like this and you save it let's check out if it is working just fine you close this one go to product to refresh the bit coming to the dashboard it shows here you click on the configure nothing happens there is something wrong so let's check it out what is wrong here it shows the alert we have the function we didn't save this one so i will save it coming back to my app close it product back to the dashboard click configure yes it shows the alert but nothing else happened here so this is the basic like you know you can call the function you can do anything you want but i want to explore some more example if i click on the configure i want to show a loading button here how about that so just to give you more example of how you can use alpine.js and then we will wrap up this video so let's bring a let's say a spinner so i will search for spinner svg and this website loading give you nice spinners so i will come here and i will customize one here for the color i want to have it like white so you can come here grab the white in the beginning and say use this one it is white now and for the design i am happy with this one it is nice now you can download it so you can create a free account here i'm going to download the animated one and you can use it anywhere you want you download it you open it it is going to give you an svg so the svg is like a large file but again you can copy the code here and it is also a partial since i cannot like paste all this video here because it will be a lot messy so i'm going to say spinner dot let dot php and i'll paste the code here and if i come here this is the configure text here beside this one i'll open a span and in here i'm going to include my spinner partials dot spinner so it should bring the spinner here but i'm going to give this one a little class of padding right to let's say two this should give a little space between the configure and the spinner here now if i come to my app let's close it refresh the page as you can see it works just fine but it has a background you know if it is svg then you can completely configure everything here is the background i'm going to say it should have opacity of like zero nothing should show and also it is too large as you can see and you can check out that it has like height and width i can change the height and width to 20 pixel save it for now let's refresh the page and check how it looks now it looks very nice but the color is, is still red i don't know why we, we downloaded the the wrong one yeah okay it changed the color so it's fine i think for now but i can do it behind the scene you can see like it is showing loading always i don't want to show loading always i want to show if someone click on the configure it start the loading once everything is complete then close the model something like that so for now if i come to my code here if someone click on this one it is calling the function right so how if you do another thing say do not show this one until something is complete you can define the data here you know it is an object i can define a data called progress and by default it is equal to false so it is a false value now i'm going to say hey show the spinner like x show if the progress is equal to true it is very simple right by default it is not showing now and i say if someone click on the theme setup do that one now you know it is a javascript statement so you can close it with a col like semicolon and then you can write your next statement you can say progress equal to true something like this now if you save it it is very simple you just change the progress here from false to true and then it should show your spinner your, sp your spinner is already here but it is hidden so let's come here it is not showing you click on the configure it shows this um, like alert if you close this one it activate this one now what i'm going to do is like it is not because of the placement of this like if you move it in the beginning it should show the progress and the theme, theme setup it is not that one so the thing is the alert will always pause whatever is on, on the screen that's why it is not going to continue like the next step so what i can do is to make it like a little bit interesting i will do a set timeout here and it should call a function after three seconds now i'm going to define it should 
alert after three seconds instead of like instantly so it is going to show me the spinner for three seconds and then it is going to alert now this is just for the like demonstration purpose but in real world you send an ajax request it might take two seconds or three seconds after the success you can just hide the model or something if i refresh now everything it looks fine you click configure it shows the loading after three seconds it should show me the alert here so the alert let's say the the ajax request was successful now in the future video i am going to do the same thing like i send an ajax request to my backend to configure the theme i hope it has been informative thank you for watching and throughout the course you will learn more about alpine js it is not that like simple like you have like learn uh, the basic stuff here you will learn more about this one throughout the course it is very nice and you will learn like how you can use model you can use html like loop and the like displaying data using for and transition and stuff like that so thank you for watching i will see you in the next video